Classic, classic again, not carton architeers. Oh, fully four quarter grass in it. And in his work truck, nonetheless. It's already in the door, so we're gonna approach from the front. Weep, skeep, weedle, weep, skeep, weep, weep. That's not where the car goes, sir. Come on now. Said, so, you know, the cars don't go there, sir. Agent Cordell here, cart arcs. Yeah, cart returns all over the place around here. Okay. Are you gonna get it for me? No, sir, I'm a cart narc. I narc out people that don't get their carts. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let them know. Let them know I didn't put it back. Well, I'm gonna let you know first. I'm giving you a okay. chance to redeem yourself. Oh, no, I'm good. Why? How can you be good being a lazy bones? Sorry, man. I hope you have a good day. Well, I'm gonna give you our bumper hood of. Uh, hey. Well, it's a truck. It's don't more of a vehicle. service vehicle than a car. Don't touch my, this, is, this is my company. This is my truck. Don't touch it. Well, this is just a magnet. Don't, don't do it. Don't put that shit it's on my It's non marking, sir. Don't, don't put that shit on my Well, let me see. You see what it says? <laughs> sir, that's a gun. All right. He uh, just pranked us a weapon at me. That is the first for the cart narcs. We're going to get some date. We're going to get some distance between the services hands are up don't shoot we are not a uh, violent organization the carton arcs i don't know man uh carton arcs by the way that is that we've had uh two different people up to this point threaten to shoot us that's the first gun that's been pulled on the carton arcs so uh things are a little more wild out here in texas we get that the carton arcs do not carry because we are a, a peaceful organization. That being said, it cannot be legal to brandish. I don't think that was loaded, though. I didn't see a bullet going into the chamber. Either way, it cannot be legal to brandish a firearm at someone who is nicely asking you to put your cart back and who had not even, to that point, touched your car or your work truck or and uh, was no, not threatening your guard dog either. Um, so I don't know if he just keeps that pistol in the, in the truck to scare people away, which clearly in this case, it, some could argue that it did work. I mean, what the hell are you supposed to do? It's a, it's a gun, you know, we'll sit there and take a bullet, which I would for the carts, but in this case, it's unnecessary. And again, I didn't see a bullet load into the chamber there, but, uh, again, you got to treat. Oh, hey, there's police, police. Oh, I can get him. So I even spoke to my supervisor about it, and in his mind is exactly where mine is. It doesn't quite meet the elements of the classy misdemeanor. Brain is seen is actually different in Texas. It's got to be a little bit different. But this would come under, if it met the full elements of it, would be a classy misdemeanor, which would be disorderly conduct by displaying a firearm. Okay. However, it kind of has in there that it's on somebody else's property. It's in his own truck. He doesn't know what's going on. I'm, I'm not saying that's the case, but I'm saying that's what he's going to say. I can play the audio that tells a different and story the completely. The attorney is basically going to say the elements aren't met on it. We're not going to be able to charge the guy with it. 